So it's cold enough outside that uh, we're just not going to be cutting anything for a while. So I, ha I do have an indoor setup with a Cab King, has a couple grinding wheels on it. And I had an idea. So here we have a Baker Ranch Thunder Egg, pretty small one. And I thought rather than uh, cutting it, I would grind it away so we can kind of see how uh, how it looks at, uh, how the inside of it looks given how deep you're grinding down. Also, it might help us and help you um, see what might be the best approach as far as picking a cutting angle on these things. I was always told to just try to find the, uh, the sedimentary lines and kind of go from there, cut it at a parallel angle. Um, but we'll see, we'll see. I'm really interested to uh, do this and here we go. So we're about this far down, ground down there. And you can see something start to poke over the top there. Some red that's probably going to be what ends up being the uh, inner core of, a, of an actual thunder egg there. I'm hoping that when I uh, get it down halfway, as is how you will usually cut this, that it's pretty cool. Um, I hope I didn't ruin I hope this isn't a really nice one and I ruined it by doing this experiment, but uh, it's all in the name of science, right guys? Okay, onward. So here we are, not quite halfway. Getting closer though, and you can see we're really exposing a lot more of that center there. Got the uh, typical Baker Ranch, uh, kind of like that gray outline with a little bit of red on the inside. It's looking to be actually probably a pretty decent uh, rock so I guess this is a good experiment to do this one on. All right, let's keep going. So here we go, we're about halfway. Um, maybe not quite, but pretty close. And we've got a really nice uh, center there. We got some nice agate banding, some reds, even a little bit of purple, which, or maybe that's pink. Um, Pretty nice. I kind of am actually a little bummed that I didn't just uh, have this on the uh, on the saw. At least I'd have two halves to this, right? But I think I'm going to quit with the grinding wheel now, and I'm just going to polish this down, and um, I will post the results. It's still pretty interesting. Um, you can kind of see how it how it eventually builds into that typical thunder egg core after grinding it down. And I didn't really pick any specific uh, angle on this. I just kind of picked one, and which one? I guess the uh, angle that looked the easiest to hold, and I kind of went with it. So, pretty interesting. All right, I will polish this up and then do one last quick little show. So there we have the final. Pretty good. It has a nice mirror finish on it. Put a little bit of a dome on it. I think you really can't help but put a dome on it when you uh, when you make a cab. But anyways, interesting little experiment. You can kind of see how the layers of the uh, Thunder Egg develop throughout. And uh, we'll just throw this guy on the shelf. All right. Hope you guys have a good one.